Hello everyone, welcome to Medigag. Today we are going to discuss about hydrocephalus. We are going to discuss these topic into six different parts. That is, introduction, clinical features, causes, pathophysiology, investigations and treatment. Hydrocephalus simply means water in the brain. This is formed due to abnormality in the CSF circulation and formation. Due to this development of fluid occurs within the ventricles of brain and surrounding the brain. The features we see in hydrocephalus are irritability, lethargy, poor appetite and vomiting. Enlargement of the head. The anterior fontanelle is widely open and bulging. The scalp veins are dilated. Sunset sign. The forehead seems to be broad and eyes might deviate downward. Brisk tendon reflex, spasticity, clonus and Babinski sign. Now come to the causes of hydrocephalus. Causes can be due to congenital malformations and acquired causes. Let's learn the congenital anomalies first. Aqueduct obstruction, Dandy Walker syndrome, congenital central nervous system infections, craniofacial anomalies, benign intracranial cysts, Arnold Chiari malformation, vein of Galen aneurysms. Now come to the acquired causes. Inflammation, meningitis, granulomatous conditions, sarcoids. Absorption blockage, intracranial hemorrhage, tumors and cysts, in the posterior fossa, pineal, third ventricle. Like colloid cyst and astrocytoma, choroid plexus tumor. Now let's learn the pathophysiology. First, we will learn the physiology of CSF circulation. At first, from lateral ventricles, CSF travels through foramen and Monroe and drain into third ventricle. Then it crosses the narrow aqueduct of Sylvius and pours into the fourth ventricle. Then it exits the fourth ventricle and goes via two paired midline foramen of Magandy and foramina of Lushka. Finally, it goes into the cisterns at the base of the brain. Then CSF circulates from the basal cisterns posteriorly through the cistern system and over the convexities of the cerebral hemisphere. Here, CSF is absorbed by arachnoid villi, CSF is absorbed through lymphatic channels. Now come to the pathology of hydrocephalus. First one, due to any obstruction in the aqueduct of Sylvius. Second one, is due to any lesion in the fourth ventricle. Third one occurs if any abnormality is occurring in the convexities of cerebral hemisphere, then CSF absorption can get hampered. And this is called non-obstructive, communicating hydrocephalus. Now come to investigation part, taking history of family which suggests X-linked or autosomal hydrocephalus secondary to aqueduct stenosis. Cranial bruit is audible. Plain X-ray shows separation of sutures, erosion of the posterior clinoids. Ultrasound, CT scan, MRI. Now come to the treatment part. Treatment can be done by cetazolamide and furosemide which reduces rate of CSF production. Endoscopic third ventriculostomy, ETV. Extracranial shunts. 